Hey, what's up? Let me see if I can help you uh, help you out with your PlayStation. Um, when people turn their PlayStation on, it usually does a couple of different things. There might be a screen before this. You might have to choose your users. Um, that's independent of you. Hopefully, you you know if your PlayStation comes directly on or whatever, whatever. So basically, the first thing you're going to do is just to make sure you're at point zero. You're going to press and hold left, so that way it scrolls all the way to the left. And then when you get all the way to the left, it may end up here one of the users or create new user so when you get to the left hold up right for a couple of seconds this ensures you that you're at the zero point of the of this of the cross media bar right so then next you're gonna press right one time right you see I already have it on display settings but you don't know what the last time you were in there so again hold up so that way it goes all the way to the top from that point you're gonna go down press down one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. On the eleventh down, press X. Give it about one second and it's gonna the next screen, you're probably not gonna see this because you're doing it blindly. Should always be video output settings, but let's just say it wasn't. Hold up for a couple of seconds. This is probably where your T V and your PlayStation are fused that they might not know what cable that they are using right now. If it's the H, it's gonna be the top one. But if it's confused and thinking that it's on composite, you won't know. So hold up, when you press up, it'll take you to the top one. So if it's HDMI you want it, you will press it on this. If it's the, compo the component, which is the green, red, and blue cord, you'll, you'll, start, you'll do it here. If it's the composite, the yellow, red, and white cord, then it's, you'll do it here, right? So no matter which one it is, when you get there, you press X. This may already be set up for your machine, so I wouldn't do anything here, but press, um, but press the right button. Once you get there, you press X again, and down X. This should turn your system back on. Um, if that's if you're using the HDMI, again, if we go back in here, if it's not component, I'm using component because I had to make this video for you. If I'm, using, if I'm using HDMI, I would press X here and it would say all this other stuff. And it would, Actually, it wouldn't say this because it'd be plugged in. It would just go to it. It would be the same exact way I did this. And you just press right and it will go right through. When you press right, you, it's basically you're going to be pressing. You can press X once here and then right. And then you just hit X here. And that should turn your machine on. If that doesn't turn your machine on, um, you may need to reset these steps. Maybe try composite and then, or component. If you try the HDMI, try the component, then the composite. The composite you probably have in your house already because that's what the PlayStation comes with. The component, the component and the composite both sits in the same slot. And if that part is broken, then the HDMI should work. If the HDMI is not working, then that's possibly something could be wrong with your PlayStation, all right? Um, or the TV, and you might want to check the ports with a different device. So um, anyway, hope this helps. One.